Hey Ryan, how are you doing this morning? Good. Um, I just wanted to ask you about, well, obviously the scheduling now looks like it's going to get a weird again with the Canucks situation. You just came back from a long road trip. You play one game here and now you're going to head back out at East. Just give, you, give me a thought on, on just trying to wrap your head around all this. Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't know exactly what's going to happen uh, with, with Vancouver going through this right now. So we're kind of just taking it day by day. And uh, all that we can do is, is get ready to play. And um, obviously, if they reschedule, we got to prepare for that too. But um, yeah, it's uh, obviously it's a, it's a big game tonight. And then, uh, and then we'll move forward from that. But uh, obviously, focus on tonight. And uh, yeah, like you said, back out east for uh, three. And then um, I think that's probably our last Eastern Eastern trip this year, other than going back to Montreal now. But um, yeah, so uh, we just got to get the get this one tonight. Obviously, like I said, it's a big one, and um, yeah, then worry about the rescheduling and what else happens. Uh, it's definitely out of out of our control. And with the situation in Vancouver, does it kind of reaffirm to everyone in the league how important it is to stay vigilant and when it comes to you know, keeping safe and, and things like that, because uh, this thing could spread in a room pretty quickly. Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, you're in a dressing room together. Uh, if uh, it's not going to be the hardest place to, to spread it around. So I think it's uh, you got to be smart. You got to be uh, careful and uh, um, taking all the right precautions. And uh, I mean, knock on wood so far, we've uh, we've done a good job uh, of that. And uh, everybody in the room's been uh, been good with it. So I uh, got to keep that up for sure. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Ryan, does it seem odd, though, that you're back east and, and you came all the way home and you're only going to play the one game and then you got to go back east again? It seems like, you know, very strange situation. You'd like to have at least played two games on the weekend to say that was worth coming home for. Yeah, I mean, and we were supposed to get uh, uh, five in on this last road trip, too, and uh, that's just kind of the way that uh, – this the season is it's uh, you got you got got to roll with it and um, up until last week uh, or yeah I mean I guess it was last week uh, this division's been really good about it uh, there's been no issues and so I mean uh, unfortunately it's come now so we just kind of got like I said got to roll with it and uh, worry about the uh, each game as they come. So, so Ryan, about the last sixty games you played considerably more games on the wing than at center. So do you consider yourself a winger now more so than a center? Um, I don't know. I think I can go back and forth. Uh, I was playing center most of the, most of the time on the road trip and um, I have no problem jumping back in there. Um, tonight I'll be on the wing again. And uh, yeah, I mean, now that I've kind of gone back and forth, uh, especially uh, more so this year, um, like jumping back and forth uh, from center to wing, it's easier to transition. It doesn't take uh, doesn't take the shifts that I usually uh, are used to take to get uh, kind of back into it. I mean, it's an uh, easy uh, transition now for me to get into. Daniel Jumbalman, the Athletic. Hi, Ryan. I, I know every game against Calgary is, uh, you know, it's exciting. You kind of get up for those games. But, you know, given the, where you guys are in the standings, um, you know, a 10-point lead on them, and a win, win in regulation would really kind of put you guys in a good spot and them in a, in a crummy spot. Do you kind of sense that? Is there kind of a little bit of an added importance to this game because of that? Um, I think coming down uh, the stretch here, um, every game is so important. Um, we know where these guys are at. We know where we're at. Uh, obviously we're focused on ourselves. Uh, we want to get as many points as we can and, um, we know they're going to be pushing. Um, uh, we definitely know that, uh, we saw that last time we were in Calgary, uh, those two, two, uh, pretty hard fought games. And, uh, so we expect that tonight. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, every game is so important now and, uh, it's just about building those points up for, for ourselves. Have you noticed much? I, I know you've only played them a couple of times since the coaching change, but a, noti uh, a change in their style, a big change in their style, rather, uh, since the coaching change? Um, well, I think uh, uh, they've kind of always been work-based, but they're definitely a work-based team right now. And um, they're going to put pucks in. They're going to put pressure on our D. So forwards can uh, um, try and uh, slow guys down, coming through the neutral zone and stuff like that. And uh, and on the other side of things, I mean, we got to establish our game right away. And, uh, we're playing our best when we're pu putting pucks in and uh, getting that four check going and uh, playing with five guys and using our speed. Tony Brower, Oilers TV. 
Ryan, as you've already mentioned, you guys have dealt with a lot of uncertainty over the last week. And now I know it's not ideal coming home for one and then going back on the road. But coming into tonight, where do you gauge the energy levels after kind of sleeping in your own bed for a couple of days and skating on your home ice? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think yesterday was a um, good practice to kind of get the legs back into it. And um, we should be feeling good tonight. Uh, we've had a couple of days off uh, after a pretty long road trip. But um, I mean, we know that we go on the road in a couple of days, but obviously right now we're focused on uh, getting this one tonight and uh, move forward from there. Thanks. Rob Kuchkowski, Post Media. Hi, Ryan. Uh, how confident are you guys that this season will make it to the finish line and they won't maybe revert to points per or winning percentage like, like they did last year? Is that something that you have to be like more focused on now, winning every game and making sure that percentage is high because you never know. Yeah. The, the end of the season's getting jammed up there. They might run out of time. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it, it's obviously tough to say at this point. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if the... Vancouver will be the last team. I mean, hopefully they're the last team that gets it. Um, but, I mean, you just don't know what's going to happen right now. So it's uh, you kind of got to take it day by day, game by game. And uh, obviously these po points are so important. And uh, we need to know that and recognize that. And we do. So um, we go in every night uh, wanting to take two points out. And um, that's going to be our focus uh, every night from now on. Is, is it easy to shut all that stuff out and just focus on hockey or is it kind of poking in the back of your minds uh, day to day? Um, I mean, it's obviously there, especially days that you don't play. Um, yesterday, the day before, we were hearing about what's happening and uh, it, there's some uncertainty and, um, and you find out. But, I mean, there's it's, it's out of our control. There's not much we can do. Um, uh I don't know what's going to happen next week um, with Vancouver either. So uh, we just kind of got to roll with it. And uh, like you said, I mean, these uh, these points are huge. And uh, we got to make sure that uh, we bear down uh, each night. Drew Matheson. Uh, you played for Brent Sutter. Did, did Brent's coaching style have anything like Daryl Sutter's coaching style? Um, I actually only got to play for Brent in the uh, World Championships one year, and um, so obviously it's a little different there. Um, but he was uh, he was kind of the the owner, and when I was in Red Deer, but um, I think they they kind of do have similar styles. Uh, the teams obviously are are gonna work, and um, uh, I think right now they're they're simplifying things, they're putting pucks in. Um, they're trying to create offense from there. And um, I mean, we, we saw that uh, the two games in Calgary. So uh, we should know what to expect this. Uh, we, we play these guys a few times, obviously, now this year. And um, we, we, we just got to worry about our game and uh, make sure that we're playing with our speed and uh, putting pressure on them. One other question. Milan Lucic is only four games from 1,000. What do you remember about him as an oiler? Yeah, I mean, uh, we had a good run with Luch here, obviously, and uh, he was a lot of fun to play with. Uh, he's had a great career, and uh, it's it's cool to see him uh, almost getting to a thousand now.